morning beautiful people this is your boy kevin back again with another video today i got another phone for you guys to review today we got the umadagi a3x the cost of this phone i am in canada cost me around 90 dollars to get it here maybe it's cheaper if you're in a different country or it could be more expensive and the cheapest place i found this phone and on ebay that's the cheapest place i found it so what we're going to do today, we're going to unbox it. We're going to run some programs on it. We're going to see how the quality on it is. How's the gaming can even actually play games on it. And how's the camera? How does it perform? How's the battery? Everything. So before I start this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Press the bell for new video notification. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's start this video, guys. So let's unbox this. Just got it in today, guys. That's how the box looks like. Okay, let's get the phone out. Let's put that on the side first. Let's see what does it come with. Ah, oh, so hard to get it up. So you get just uh, the booklet and the SIM uh, key. That's pretty much it. And you get a charger and they give you a U, uh, EU charger. So this is a Euro charger. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to plug this in, but uh, or you can get one of these converters. You can buy them for like a dollar on eBay. So pretty much, uh, or um, anywhere else, Amazon. Amazon sells them for like two, three bucks and you can get it within like two days. You just stick it in and it turns it to a US charger, just like that. So that and the cable, nothing else inside that. So let's pull this thing out. That's how the phone looks good. And they give you a case, guys. Comes with the case. That's the case. So let's check out the phone, see how it looks like. It comes only so. in uh, two colors, black and uh, navy green. So it looks like you got one camera here, one camera there. You got a flash here, fingerprint scanner. One button here, one button here. That's an off and on button. You got a headphone jack, speakers right there. That's how it looks like. Feels pretty heavy. Let's weigh it and see how much it weighs. You got 181 grams dot 15. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put all my information inside, I'm gonna power it up, and uh, then we're gonna go through the specs and we're gonna see what this phone is capable. So, let's check it out. Okay guys, I put all my information inside, it's ready to go now. So, let's go through the specs. So for CPU, you got MT6761. And for system is running on Android 10. For memory, you got RAM of three gigabytes, ROM of 16 gigabytes. For SIM, you got dual SIM. And for battery, it is 3,300 milliamp. For screen, you got 5.7 inch HD plus, uh, 1512 times 720 pixels. For camera for the back, you got 16 MP plus 5 MP. For front, you got 13 MP. And networks, this is uh, unlocked to GSM networks only. So that's pretty much it for the specs, guys. Let's try the fingerprint unlock. Unlocks it pretty quick. Let's try it again. Unlocks it really quick. Unlock. Now try the face unlock. Let me try it. Face unlock. Try it again. Face unlock is pretty damn quick too, guys. So now let's see the settings, guys. Let's bring this down. So you got your uh, Wi-Fi, you got your Bluetooth, do not disturb, flashlight, auto-rotate, location, uh, mobile data, airplane mode, dark temps. Let's go left. So you got your super screenshot, you got your screen record, you got your battery saver, and you got your hotspot, and you got your screen casting. For a cheap phone, for having screen casting, it's pretty damn good. So pretty much you can project this phone into your TV if you got a smart TV. Okay, let's check out settings, networks and internet, connect devices, app and notifications, smart assistance, battery. This You got your display, let's go in here, so it's 100%. I think it's pretty damn bright. You got adaptive, you got your wallpapers, you got your temps, you got your advanced. Let's go here. You got your sounds. This thing is pretty damn loud, guys. For a budget phone, pretty damn loud. Then you got your storage, your privacy, your location, your security, your account, your face unlock, digits, Google, dirt speed, and system, and about phone. Let me go show you guys. 
So for RAM, you got three gigabytes. RAM, you got 16. That's your MEI number, Android 10. And A3X, that's the device uh, model. So that's pretty much for the settings. Now let's see what the apps that actually come with this phone. So you got your calculator, you got your uh, calendar, you got your camera, you got your Google, you got your clock, you got your contacts, drive, duo, files, FM, AM radio, Gmail, Google, Google map, messages, phone, photos, Google photo, um, play movies, uh, play store. Set. So I forgot to tell you guys, this phone comes with all Google assistants. So let's check it out. Okay, Google. Open camera. Okay. So it works, but it's a little bit too slow. So for front, it's got lag, but uh, nothing too serious. This is a $90 phone, guys. But uh, if you guys can see, pretty damn good. Now let's check out multi-taxing. You go to the square bar. Say I want to go to um, here. I can split my screen right there, guys. That's split screen, and I can have my Play Store at the bottom there. Yeah. So I can do whatever up here. You can watch YouTube up there, and you can browse down here and do your, uh, if you're reading something on Google or uh, whatever you're doing. So that's how easy it is to do multitasking on a budget $90 phone. Let's see how this phone performs on gaming. It didn't take that long to download. Very quick to download games in this phone, and uh, no lag. Now let's see how it plays. As you guys can see, very beautiful display. No lag. To play games in this, you're actually gonna enjoy it. Yeah, for gaming, you're good to go, guys. If you guys can see, it's a very beautiful display. Like, I mean, look at the colors. It's so bright. The sound is pretty good. That's full. Make sure you don't put your hand here because you're not going to hear anything. But the display is really nice. You actually can sit and watch movies in this $90 phone. And you're going to enjoy it. And this phone, guys, has no lag. Performs really good. This video that you guys see in the back, it's a 4K video. So now I think we should go check out the camera. Okay, that's for the camera. So you got for a uh, video. Let's go actually to video first. Let's see what we can record as. So let's go to quality so you can record um, FHD 1920 1080 HD 1280 720 and etc. Let's go back then let's see how many zoom does it have. Let's get something here. Let's put the candle. Let's see how many zoom we're going to get out of it. So you got four zoom guys. That's max. That's your max zoom. Let's go to photo. And it's got HDR, you got your flash, and you got portrait mode, you got beauty. For the ladies up there, you want to look more prettier, this phone can actually look, make you look pretty. You can play around with your eyes, your chin, your hair, whatever, etc, etc. And that's pretty much it for the camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go take some quick pictures with this. And uh, I'm going to show them to you guys. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about the pictures on this phone. So let's go check them out. It works pretty damn good. Quality is very nice.
killed it. Like the metal framing around it, they pretty much they copied the iPhone X. The headphone jack, the speakers, the design, everything. I love it because it's only $90 phone. For $90 phone, I don't think you can get anything better than this. Like if you buy anything from Wish, the phones are garbage. You buy a $90 phone from Amazon, garbage. This phone, you get a beautiful display. Like, I mean, beautiful display. You actually can enjoy watching movies and Netflix or YouTube or whatever you're watching on this thing. You're gonna actually enjoy it. The sound is pretty good as long as you don't put your hand on the speaker, you're good to go. Or if you're playing games, make sure you don't touch the speaker. For gaming, actually performs really good for gaming. I actually used it for a couple hours playing games on it. It did not heat up. The battery is not on the large side, so that's the downsides of this phone. The camera, the video for a $90 phone, I think they were pretty damn good. It's just a $90 phone, so you cannot accept too much from the camera or the video quality on this phone. So overall, my opinion, I think this phone is a plus plus. For $90, go ahead, buy it, it's worth it. So that's pretty much for today's video. So don't forget to subscribe, press the bell for new video notification. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.